What's happening traders? Welcome to another video. It's Emmanuel from Live Free Facts. And today we're in the charts. We're taking a look at the market. It is February 28th, 737. And I'm taking a look at gold. A good performance tip that I'm going into today's market with is, you know, your goal as a trader is to focus on taking the best trades and money is secondary, right? So that's kind of what I have on my mind as I approach today's session. It is Wednesday, February 28th. And uh, yeah, let's see what today has to offer. So yeah, right now a lot can happen for gold. We can see price push higher, but normally I would be targeting the highs in today's uh, in today's session if opportunity arises. So now we're down to the five minute time frame. Go over to the one minute. And right now, yeah, I feel like this could be a good opportunity. So what I just did there is I just executed a, a, a gold buy. I'm in the trade right now. We're gonna go over to my um, MT4 platform here. So what we'll see, what I do, as always, I normally do um, about a 30 pep stop. I'm in I'm in a little bit on the one minute time frame. This, we could see a push back down into this level, no doubt about that. For me, I know that if the market wants to rally and wants to push, you know, higher, I want to be in a position where I'm taking advantage of the move right now. So we're in the trade. Um, and yeah, and my broker of choice is Avatrade. Um, I like their regulated broker. I've been using Avatrade for a while now. And, um, you know, it's uh, fortunately they don't accept US client. Um, I live in Canada. So, you know, I'm able to, to take advantage of uh, of that but i know there's a lot going on right now in terms of you know broker prop firms in the us i mean i think it's really important to you know find somewhere where you can put your money and feel safe you know that's always been a, an important aspect of trading for me i've traded with on regulated brokers and i may still trade with a non-regulated broker uh but right now you know i'm just essentially like okay looking for the best case scenario where it's like okay put myself in a position where i trade with uh with a broker that i that i trust that has you know pretty decent reviews so i have a trade does it for me um so right now i am in the trade you know we're up about 280 dollars at any point in time things can switch you know i have my stop loss at 30 peps the reason why I got involved in this trade, if we go over to trading view, just as I like to break things down, is you know we ha we have accumulation right here, but um, still we're seeing price making high highs and high lows, and um, you know still my bias is still bullish, um, and it's been bullish for the last couple of days. Um, you know yesterday um, we had a pretty solid meltdown in the New York sessions. And I was, I came to the market being looking to be a buyer, but I didn't get the opportunity. But I'm hoping that the market is gracious enough um, to give me a, a decent opportunity, at least, you know, something maybe like 30 peps, right? You know, push up to 30, um, 20, 33, take out this high. And uh, if it does that, I'm in the clear, close a little bit of my position. And if price does want to run and continue to move higher for the day, great. Um, I will look to take the move higher, but I'm not going to ignore the fact that price did take out this low. And, you know, the market may have some interest in continue moving lower. Uh, but to me, it's just there's really not a lot of, there's nothing there for price to target other than this low. And we have some pretty significant bullish move candles signifying the strength of the buyers in the market. It's always best to follow a higher time frame. I know, you know, there's always a probability when you take a trade that you could be wrong, but if you're comfortable with your risk, you're comfortable with your overall perspective, it's always a learning point. You know, it's, it's, you're always going to be okay. So going back over here, we're in the trade, you know, we're down now, see, uh, what price, you know, what price wants to do in order to actually day trade effectively and profitably, you have to be trading markets that are going to be moving, right? So a lot of traders will trade, you know, gold will trade um, US 30 and other pairs that are highly volatile. But this is the thing, these pairs may not be conducive to a beginner trader, they may not be best. So I understand that. But you've been going on the four years in your trading journey. And a lot of these pairs are actually like gold moves very well with market structure out of all the pairs like ooh, whoa 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 <laughs> okay 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 <laughs> i was i was about to give a give a little lecture there but um <laughs> the market has uh let me just uh get my stuff ready here well i actually just use my uh use my phone or, or wait wait one second it's not popping up on this on this on the screen but anyways going back to what i was saying amber um right now the trade is up around we're up about 16, 16 peps on here. Um, so we still got about, 
you know, halfway, halfway to go. But nonetheless, if the market still keeps moving this way, we're, we're gonna keep, um, we're gonna take advantage of it. Trading is all about mastery, guys. Like it's literally all about mastery. You have to come into the market and you have to master your market. That's why the, the concept of, you know, a lot of people switching markets because of this whole brokerage situation, to me is a little like, it, it's kind of the opposite of the mindset that you should have when you're trying to perfect the craft. Trading is literally all about mastery. It is about building your skill as a trader. And that's the most important thing, right? So don't let the brokers, you know, change that for you. Don't let the situation that's going on change that for you. What I'm actually gonna do here is, you know what? So I'm just gonna watch it a little bit, but I'm about to close half of my position. But I just wanna make sure that the market has already given me something for the time that I've been sitting here. So I make sure I don't mess that up. Going back to my story, I went into a boxing gym uh, a couple of weeks ago. I was like, you know, I gotta start taking boxing seriously. Normally weightlifting, that's my thing, right? I love that. You know, I walked in there, I'm 230 pounds of muscle. The guys are looking at me intimidated, but you know, I understand this game, you know, that a small guy can take you out very easily. You know, it's about skill, it's not about size. Fortunately, I do have the skill, but I haven't been conditioned like these guys. They're going every day, train every day. So I went in there and I was like, hey, you know, looking for a sparring partner. Nobody wanted to spar me. And then, you know, the coach put me with a guy who was relatively my size. You know, he still looked a little intimidated, you know, but I was just like, you know, it's it's not about that. And and we trained and he gave me some work. And I was like, whew, I was, I was, I was gassed out. And um, and everybody was like, oh, it wasn't like he whooped me or anything. It was just, I was just not conditioned, right? It humbled me. You know, and even though I went in there with a humbled mindset, it still humbled me significantly because like that's that's what anything, anything that you're doing, whether it's martial art, whether it's a high level skill that takes a high degree of mastery and, and um, you know, really, really developing yourself. You always want to be humble. You could be the best warrior in the game, but you can't walk around with your chest out every time. That's why I respect the market. That's why I just put my stop loss to break even. And that's why I'm actually going to take something off the table right now. So right there, it's changed. I have, uh, you know, closed, I have closed um, $1,400 on, on this trade today. Just because I'm spending a lot of time on the one minute time frame doesn't mean I'm not aware of what's going on on the uh, the one hour. I know where price is reaching for. And this is, you know, the 20, 30, uh, 39 level, which is, you know, 20, 40 level, right? These are areas where price is reaching for. So I'm gonna place my stop loss right there to secure something. So yeah, this is this is it. Well, you guys are, you guys are dedicated and uh, you guys are, you guys show up as community will grow, you know, we'll keep growing. My goal is, you know, to keep growing. I, I do enjoy trading live with, you know, with, with other members. Uh, some people don't like that because it's it's a lot of pressure and, and whatnot. But for me, it's it's something that I've always, I've always enjoyed, but yeah. So that's so, so we don't, I don't mind, I don't mind doing it, but I look forward to, um, oh, it was a bad trade. Uh, I got, I'll take a look at it. I'll take a look at it in a little bit. But yeah, gold, gold is moving. We're up in the trade right now. Um, the position is up about three grand on this um, position right now. My lot size remaining is about five lots. My entry point was at um, 2039. Essentially just looking to ride the market up to the promised land. See if price is going to allow me to uh, to do that. But I may also decide to close and walk away. It is nine o'clock right now. So far, I have secured another 1780, another $1,700. That's if price comes and takes my stop loss out of um, out of business, you know, with my $1,400 first scale out would make a decent um, uh, decent amount of, uh, of profit. So for the day, we've been here since 730. This is what we do. This is the Live Free Effects community. This is the uh, the live trading in the battle room, and uh, this is the trading game, guys. Right now, I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna walk away um, from this trade. I have secured, you know, I think four and a half grand um, on this on this trade here. I don't want to push my luck here. I think I'm gonna close out. Yeah, this is this is it. So today, you know, we did another four. You know, just a little bit over. Did another, you know, uh, four thousand um, three hundred, you know, dollars on on the trade. You know, that's that's it. Gold is my one and only. You know, that's that's essentially, you know, why 
why I traded. You know, it works for me. It pays what it pays, but you know, this is this is the game of trading. And um, you know, keep in mind that any day you come in, you can have a winning day, you can have a losing day. But ultimately, it is important that you maintain your composure at all times. And yeah, so this is this is it.